Courtney and I'm coming to you live from the inside of my truck. <laughs> I did get a new truck. It's a 2008 GMC Sierra and it's currently sitting crooked in the driveway if you're wondering why there's trees back there and trees beside me. It's because I'm sitting like at an angle in the driveway because <laughs> I like I, I have this weird affinity for parking cars in really weird situations like not like out in public but like in my own yard because we have an acre and a half so I like to park it in weird places I don't know I, I just I like to be random and different and see where I can park it that it's not supposed to go <laughs> so it's currently sitting in the driveway um I am completely and utterly in love with my car, y'all. Um, it was a gift from my grandpa. Because um, he got a new vehicle, so he decided that he was going to give me this car because I needed a new car. Um, well, I didn't need a new car, I just needed a car. Um, so he gave me this wonderful, beautiful blessing of a GMC Sierra. And I was scared of driving it at first. Because I haven't ever really liked the notion of driving a big vehicle. <laughs> but once I started, I drove it home. He came and picked me up and let me drive it home. And so once I got the feel for it, I realized it's not any wider. It can't really be that much wider than my mom's car because then it would be taking up the whole road. So once my brain figured that out... It was a lot easier to drive. Parking is difficult because it's 18 feet long. Backing up is still pretty difficult for me because it's 18 feet long. And I don't know, but I love it. <laughs> I love it so much. Oh, I don't want to ever get rid of it. Ugh. I just, I've, three days I've had it and I'm completely smitten by this truck. <laughs> it's just the most wonderful thing ever. <laughs> Ignore how close I sit to the steering wheel, please, but this is the inside. I've got my little teddy bear Adam gave me when he proposed, sitting in the window, and my British license plate up there. The radio is so nice, and I can hook my phone into it. And these cup holders my grandpa made, but I think I'm going to use them as change holders or something. And then the glove box, and... Like, just the interior seat cover for my doggy. It's really, really nice. Isn't it just so awesome? It's so wide, though. Just so wide. But So here's the part y'all been waiting for. The outside of the truck. I just gave it a bath. Ain't she a beaut? My grandpa made the camper that's on top, so... It's all shiny clean now. It's so pretty. But it looks... This is what it looks like with the tailgate down. And I, I usually use this as like a seat. Um, this is the inside of the cap that my grandpa made. And this this actually opens, but I don't feel like opening it right now because it's kind of a pain. But it's at least got a cap on it and that way people can't throw stuff into the back of the truck, which is always handy. <laughs> so. We'll walk back around the front. It's just so sexy. Ooh. I loved this truck so much that she is now standing on top of the cap. Nope, you're not coming up. Nope, 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 nope. If you're gonna come down, you're gonna come off the glass. Come on. Us. Are you trying to get up on the roof? What are you doing? So yeah, that's my truck. <laughs> I'm so pleased with it. I just, I love it so much. And like I said, it's just this amazing blessing 
and gift that I've been given and I just am still like bewildered by it. I don't know. I want to do something really nice for my grandpa to thank him, but I haven't quite figured out what. This steering wheel is like making me look like I have no neck. Or swim. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd just come on and tell you my exciting news. If I had to review this truck for having it three days, my only critique about it is when you have a cap on, you can't see the back at all. Um, the radio isn't in a position where the driver can reach it easily. Like, I can reach it easy, but it's not the screen. I have to kind of, like, lean to see the screen. Um, I haven't quite figured out how to work the air conditioning and the heat yet, because sometimes cold air comes out when it's on heat. Um, there was another- oh, the mirrors. My other- I hope this is fixed in the new Sierras, because the mirrors- because I sit- my legs are so short, I sit so close to the steering wheel that the mirrors don't go up far enough to where I can see over the car. <laughs> Or over behind the car so there's no blind spots. So I'm thinking about saving up and getting extended mirrors so I can so that there's no blind spot around the car. But the truck, the car, it's a thing. Um, I drove my mom's car today and after driving this beast it's like driving a toy car. Like I felt like I was driving a go-kart. <laughs> it just was such a difference. Like this thing is a beast. 18 feet of angry grr Michigan, like, engineering has gone into this truck, and I love it. I just, I, I, I'm over the moon with this truck. Like, it's just, it's just my baby now. <laughs> so, I thought I'd get on here and do a quick vlog for you from my new truck. Um, if you're not already, you should click the button down below and subscribe. Join my little family. We ain't much, but we'll fool ya. And we're big brown coats here, and I'm actually hoping to get a brown coat sticker to put on the back and see how many people honk at me. <laughs> I just want, like, the the triangle thing that Mel had on his shoulder. Um, but I want that, and then I want a Bastille sticker, so I'm in the, those the last two stickers that'll probably go on the car because I don't want to, like, destroy the back with stickers. I just want the stuff I love to be on it, you know. So, anywho, if you're not already and you want to subscribe, you'll get more vlogs like me being crazy and happy and excited. And I also train my dog on this channel, so if you're interested in dog training, you can join. Please leave a comment down below and let me know if you've ever driven a GMC Sierra or if you know somebody who owns one and you've driven theirs or you own one. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you and have a great day.